Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to calculate your menstrual cycle length. So in order to do this, you're gonna need the following supplies. You're gonna need a calendar, a calculator, and dates of when your period started, preferably at least three cycles, because we're gonna average those cycles out to help us calculate that menstrual cycle length. So let's take a look at some menstrual cycle start dates. The first date we have of when the period started was October 31st, and then the next period started on November 29th. Then the next period after that started on December 29th, and then finally the next period started January 27th, which gives us a total of three months. Now once you've figured out your start dates, you're ready to calculate your menstrual cycle length. And in order to do that, you wanna pay attention to that very first month and look at at day one of your period, when your period actually started, because this is known as cycle day one. So how do you know this was actually the day your period started? Well, you want to make sure that that day is when you had an actual flow of menstrual blood. We don't count spotting. And then when you've determined that, you're going to keep counting your cycle days. And you're gonna keep counting until you get to the day before the day of when your next period started, because this represents the last day of that cycle. So to help us understand how to calculate menstrual cycle length, let's do this example. Here our first month period started October 31st and that is cycle day one and we're going to keep counting until November 28th which is the day before that next period which started on November 29th. And this will give us the cycle length for that month to be 29 days. So the second month the period started November 29th which is cycle day one and we're going to count until December December 28th, because remember, we stopped the day before that next period started. So that is going to give us a cycle length of 30 days for that month. Then for the third month, the period started December 29th, which is cycle day one, and we're gonna keep counting until January 26th, because this is the day before that next period started. So that gives us a cycle length of 29 days. And here's what our results look like. We have a cycle length of 29 days, then we have 30 days, and then we have 29 days. So to help us calculate that menstrual cycle length, we are going to add 29 plus 30 plus 29, which gives us 88 and then next we're going to divide by the total number of months we used and in this case it was three and we're going to get an average menstrual cycle length of 29.33 repeating and we're going to round to the nearest whole number which is 29 days so the menstrual cycle length is 29 days now what should a normal menstrual cycle be well it can be anywhere between 21 to 35 days with the average being about 28 days and it really varies and it can vary from month to month. One month you may be 28 days, the next month you may be 27, and then that following month you may be 26. But it's still all normal because it falls within that 21 to 35 day range. Now you may be wondering what is considered an irregular menstrual cycle? Well if your cycle is less than 21 days or greater than 35 days. And this can happen if you're missing menstrual cycles, like you're skipping a month here or there, or the bleeding part of your menstrual cycle is lacking lasting longer than seven days. It can make your cycle longer. And remember that the bleeding part of your cycle should last anywhere between three to seven days with an average of five. And then finally, why is it beneficial to know your menstrual cycle length? Why do you even want to calculate it? Well, one thing is that it's helpful in helping you understand if you're having normal, regular periods. Is it occurring within that 21 to 35 day cycle? Plus, it helps you know when to expect your next period in case you have something planned or you just want to know. In addition, it can help you track ovulation if you're trying to increase your chances of getting pregnant or preventing pregnancy. Because remember, ovulation, if you have an average cycle of 28 days, it tends to occur on cycle day 14. So that lets you know, hey, this is a good day to try to get pregnant, or this is a day that I definitely want to avoid pregnancy. Okay, so that wraps up this video on how to calculate your menstrual cycle length. Now, if you'd like to watch more in-depth videos like about your menstrual cycle, what's occurring during it, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.